Hello everybody, uh, we're here at the Millennium Experience with the one and only John Harams, founder and CEO of Millennium Systems. And uh, we would like to ask you to share with our Estetica readers who are not mm -hmm. able to come here today, why this Millennium Experience is so fascinating, so exciting, and why you got such a big crowd this year. Yeah, I, I really think that um, we bring, we, we typically the, best of the best salons and spas use Millennium. It's just become uh, uh, the product of the people that really take their businesses seriously. So I call it the business side of beauty. So I think what makes our conference so exciting is number one, we bring top level talent, talent to educate them on. And, uh, but, and it's not just about the tool, it's about educating them about their businesses. But the people that come here, I learn so much from them. They're just really smart, uh, uh, savvy business owners uh, in the salon and spa world. What do, you th what do you think it is about the culture of Millennium? Because culture is a very important part in companies. Yeah. What do you think makes the beauty business so comfortable with this mm -hmm. system? So sometimes when I'm on stage, I joke around and say maybe I'm a little schizophrenic because I'm actually a drummer, which is right brain. Oh. Uh, I wrote most of Millennium myself, which is left brain. Uh -huh. Um, and the beauty industry is right brain. So I think what works is that I understand the beauty industry. Um, they f can tell that I listen to them and I appreciate the things that they need in software. I don't kind of design things and say, here's what you're going to use. I listen and then build it based on what they say. So culturally, I think uh, it's so important uh, to build a culture that's really around things like this. Focus, humble, stay humble and hustle. Always hustle. Like that's part of culture. It's like living uh, up to the things that in the standards that you set for your employees so uh, culturally I think Millennium you can just feel it I mean the people uh, at home aren't maybe feeling what we're feeling but you know what I'm saying you can feel oh, yeah. tangibly the culture and the passion at our conference you, de you definitely can and one of the most exciting things this year is Mevo 2 so tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, you see my face light up? Yeah. yeah. So we've been working secretly very hard on our cloud product that we're calling Mevo. Now a lot of people are like, well, what's Mevo? It's Millennium Evolution, but it's too long of a word, so we collapsed it down to M-E-E-V-O, Mevo. And uh, it's cloud, and it it's really celebrates the beauty industry because we didn't just create a cloud product that looks like a website, like kind of you know, not functional. It's beautiful, it's fast, it works on any device, iPhone, Android, iPad, Mac, PC. So we're very proud of it. Uh, and uh, it's launching uh, in beginning of 2018. Okay, and what were some of the details, if you will, that the beauty industry asked for that you addressed in this change? Sure. Uh, what if they're multi-location, they want to be able to quickly, even on their phone, jump between the locations they have. If they're not multi-location, one of the most important thing to any salon, I don't care what part of the world they're from, is the appointment book. Mm -hmm. So we created all these new features in the appointment book that include something called the combo bar, which is short for conversation bar, where you can just type exactly what you are looking for, what the client's saying on the phone or in front of you, haircut today with Susie or Bill, or haircut next weekend, and when you type that, Mevo automatically brings up an appointment book that only shows those days, only the people that can do that service, or only the service providers you've asked for, so it just makes booking about 10 times faster. So it's a lot more conversational, yeah. if you will? Yeah, yeah, I mean, and that's what happens, right? Somebody calls or they're standing in front of you, they're gonna say, I want a haircut with Bill or Susie next weekend. Well, guess what? In the normal world, people then go to their appointment book, go to next weekend, try to find, scroll back and forth to find Bill and Susie. In Mevo, the minute you type the words they're saying, by the time they're finishing speaking, the appointment book's showing the openings for what they asked for. And you mentioned that there's an existing patent on this and, and that this is exciting new technology that doesn't even exist? Yeah, so we have patent that uh, because there is no software that can actually morph an appointment book to match what somebody's asking for okay. at that level. Well, exciting, yes. innovative, and one of the things you mentioned in your class earlier were the six growth indicators. indicators. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about that. That was very interesting for anybody in any industry. Yeah, and it really does. It, it transforms. It, it, it's not just beauty industry. It's really any repeat service business. So, and again, I even joked around. If you uh, had an oil change company, it would make sense. Like how often people come back to get their oil changed. So in the beauty industry, it's really about how many new clients are you generating a month? 
new client retention, how often you're, how good you're doing at keeping those new clients, repeat client retention, how well am I keeping my existing clients, uh, frequency of visit, my favorite one that you heard me talk about, is just really about rebooking that guest and getting them in one more time a year can be a 20% growth. Um, uh, the other thing is average ticket, making sure that we work with our staff to just, you know, don't say I'm, I need you to go to $150,000 a year, just say I need $5 more a guest. Maybe that's just a conditioning treatment. It's a much more uh, attainable thing for somebody to work on than just this big number. So what I like about the growth indicators is they're forward focused. They're things that you can work on today or monitor today that shows how well you're going to grow tomorrow. People that just look at revenue are really looking at the rear view mirror of what they did yesterday. I can't fix yesterday, but I can fix tomorrow. So that's what I love about the growth indicators and why we preach them so much at my conference. And this not only applies to business, really, it applies to life in general, which is kind of what we've been touching upon this whole conference, that beauty business is doing good, feeling good, and being part of a big family. So thank you so much for thank being you. with thank us. You. So for 2018 in September, we're doing our next uh, Millennium Experience. Uh, you can go to speaktme.com. That's speaktme.com and sign up and come and see all the great education we have. Learn more about this Mevo 2 product that I'm so excited about and come to the beautiful Scottsdale, Arizona, which is not the worst place to have a business meeting. So hope to see you there.